Uh, how many kangaroos are out there, Elaine? 17 of them. 17 at last count. Hey, Jim, you might notice that that kangaroo's arms are all wet. Sure can see that. She hasn't been swimming. She's just trying to cool off because it's kind of a warm day today. Well, what's that, now, what's that got to, how do, her, how do her arms get wet, Elaine? She licks them, just like she's doing right there now. You go. Yeah, she licks them and that just cools it off because the blood vessels are right there close to the skin. So the saliva evaporates, cools the blood, cools the animal. It's just like when you squirt yourself in the face with water. I've done that, sometimes not on purpose. Uh, Elaine, you're a mother, you're a grandmother, you're the area manager of the Australian Adventure, but you've also been called Queen of the Kangaroos. Elaine, you are queen of the kangaroos. Well, they called me that. It's because I've been here at the zoo for over 20 years, and I've worked with the kangaroos all that time. I've had kangaroos in my house. I've hand raised kangaroos. And I'm the North American stud book keeper for kangaroos. North American stud book keeper for kangaroos. What is that? That means, Jim, I keep track of all of the kangaroos that have ever been in any institution in North America since back in the 1800s. Wow. We have a professional association, the American Zoo and Aquarium Association. Uh, there are stud books and management plans for various species, including kangaroos. So how many kangaroos are you currently keeping track of in your database? I have 616 eastern gray kangaroos. Which is our flavor. That's yeah. right. And uh, we also have four joeys in the pouch, but I don't count them yet. We don't know whether they're boys or girls. And Jim right here is one with a joey in the pouch. This is Harriet. She's 10 years old. How can you tell them apart? They have notches in their ears, and that's how we t tell who's who. Because with that many animals, we've had over 104 kangaroos here, Jim. And they're all even. 104? 104 at our zoo. The stud book is so cool because that way I know that we have the oldest kangaroo in North America right here at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. So we're really, we have the oldest kangaroo and the youngest kangaroo still in the pouch. That's right. We've got two of our little girls from a couple years ago already have babies in their pouch. That's awesome. Elaine, you got a little one out there in the middle. That's that... Bindi. She was our littlest baby left from last year. So that's uh, one year old. About almost two years almost old. Almost she's now. small. Yeah, she's a tiny little girl. Yeah. But she's ornery. What do they feel like? They're very soft and cuddly. They're kind of like your favorite oh. stuffed animal. Yep, they're hopping. There they go. And you can see uh, Macropod. They're in the family, the Macropod family. What does Macropod mean? It means Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Now, your feet aren't quite so big as theirs, but they have really, really big feet. They have cool, interesting feet. They use their feet to groom with. They use their front claws to, to get the dirt off their fur. They use their back claws to help them steer, to help them walk. Well, they also use them to hop. I mean, to hop? At, to hop. And they use that big, big tail like a big, rudder. Yeah, the big tail, kind of a rudder or a counterbalance. They hold it out real rigid. Oh, they are, they are like velvet soft. Oh, man. See why I love kangaroos, Jim? They're easy to love. Wait a minute, what's oh. this guy? He's all covered with uh, leaf sprouts. Clean up, man. Clean up there, dude. She's just got a snack for later, Jim. A snack? It's sticky. What? This kangaroo laid in caramel corn. That's Mouse. She's an old lady. She's a, she's allowed. She deserves to look any way she wants to. That's right. right. Who's this? Oh, that's, that's... This is Bindi. Bindi. She's our little girl. Born last year at the, at the zoo. That's right. She's just she's a real sweetie. coming over to see us. Hello, Bindi. She's oh a curious gosh, kangaroo. I would say so. She is teeny tiny. Well, you can see the um, the real fine whiskers around the nose and around the eyes as she nibbles the cameraman's shorts. Awesome. Bindi is, is one of the most curious kangaroos we have. She's also one of the most playful Bindi. of all the babies we've had here. She's very independent. She doesn't want her mother around her. She just does what she feels like doing. When we first let him out in the yard, Last week, she was all over the place, just having a ball. She is awesome. She chases leaves sometimes when she sees them fluttering. Big old ears, big old ears. Beautiful eyes. Most women would kill to have eyelashes like that. Yeah. Oh, and that is, do you know who's with the pouch there? 
I'm not, you know, I don't know them as well as some of my other keepers. From the looks of that pouch in the animal beside Bindi there, Elaine, how soon would that joey be popping out? We should probably start seeing a tail or a, a foot or something like that, I would say within the next couple weeks. Yeah. This has been an up-close and personal visit with some of uh, Elaine's favorite kangaroos at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo.